Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be exploring whether or not you should overclock your CPU and is it really worth it for gaming. So kicking things off with some positivity. What are the benefits of overclocking your CPU? Well it is a pretty standard thing to do but overclock CPUs do tend to run hotter, use more power and wear out faster in the long run. Done correctly though you will see a significant significant performance boost from your CPU. If the overclocking process comes naturally to you, buying a cheaper CPU and then cranking up the speed may be a cheaper viable option for you. It may even save money in the long run depending on the overclock CPU lifespan, which can be unpredictable. You can lose money as quickly as you saved it if the overclock results in permanently frying the CPU. Now, what are the real drawbacks of overclocking your CPU? First off, you instantly void the warranty. In reality, at best, your computer could end up in an infinitive boot cycle. This is pretty easy to fix, but could damage parts of your PC. Overclocking your CPU isn't as simple as speeding up your processor. You will also need to look at the power draw and consumption, the fan speed and other metrics too. Although there are some motherboards that come with software bundles that can make this process easier. In addition, overclocking your CPU doesn't provide as much benefits as you might think. Most modern PCs don't need the extra CPU power to play Play modern titles. Overclocking the GPU would actually be more beneficial. So in conclusion, should you overclock your CPU? Well, no is the answer for the vast majority of modern PCs. It's not usually worth it for the risk or effort. However, if you are willing to take the risk, careful that the CPU's lifespan isn't reduced past the length of time you want to use it for, and it doesn't sustain any permanent damage, then you can only stand to gain from this process. Because after all, you can't learn the delicate art of overclocking unless you practice it. Although the Intel K series is specifically designed to be overclocked, so this could also be an option. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please have a look down in our description for any more videos that can help with CPU information or overclocking. Please leave us a comment down below if this video has been helpful and if you have any more video ideas on CPU topics. Please give us a like, a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. And if you look over here, there's going to be a video that we know you're going to enjoy. Thanks again.